kick, flip, and pull. Those are just some of the things this BHS team does on a daily basis. This week I went down to the Burlington High School Gymnasium to catch up with the BHS varsity cheerleading team. Um, I had a great high school cheerleading experience in my own life and I just am happy that like I get to like give these girls kind of like the same thing. Like I love the game atmosphere, I love the school spirit aspect, like the competitive aspect of it as well. So it's kind of like all three things. Like I coached competitive cheerleading for years and years and years, but this is different because it it's school spirit, it's school pride, it's, you know, football games and Friday night lights and all that stuff and so that those things are fun. I had a chance to speak with the 2018 captains. Um, we've been cheering since we were like seven years old. Um, my sister did it, my older sister, so I feel like I just kind of like went into like her lifestyle and <laughs> I loved it ever since. So, Yeah, um, all my friends did it, like Kate and stuff, so I did gymnastics and dance when I was younger and then I started cheering and I just never looked back. <laughs> Same with Jesse and Kate. I danced when I was little and my sister did cheering. She's 12 years older than me, so I always wanted to follow in her footsteps. The cheer season is limited, which means there are a numerous amount of exercises to go through before game day. High school season is really short, so they don't have a lot of time to put together um, the routine and perfect it. We are lucky this year. We are in really good shape and we haven't had any injuries, knock on wood, And but we've been practicing since the since double sessions, like just like the football team since double sessions, so that was the second to last week in August. Um, they get choreographed and they're in training from, and they practice about 10 to 12 hours a week. Practice makes perfect. The team goes through a variety of stunts and acrobatics during their performances. Um, they're very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, two so, minutes and 30 seconds so well. basically yeah. our routines are about what Jamie just said, two minutes and 30 seconds, and um, we're doing the most competitive t jumps, stunts, tumbling, all in that really short time, so it's like you have to have a lot of stamina, and you're also really focusing on each other and working together as a team. So if one girl's off, the whole team gets misscored. So it's a lot of teamwork combined with really intense um, like cardio and skills. Yes. It's really difficult. <laughs> we, we worked a lot. It's, we've come a long way to get us to do our routines. They're very yes. There's so many just little parts that you wouldn't expect that go into a routine, like things that you don't even see that we have to take time and like put work into for those. Yeah. Finally, cheerleading is a hard-fought sport and requires teamwork as well as physical and mental toughness. I honestly believe that cheerleading is probably the only sport that really requires 100% teamwork because nothing on the mat that they do works without every single person on the mat doing what they're supposed to do. So the life lessons that they learn is probably way more valuable than the routine that they're competing. They learn how to work together. They, need, they learn how to rise through adversity, through failure, through successes. Um, there's really a lot to offer there. The relationships, I yeah. feel like. I mean, it's going to be so hard leaving them. We've been cheering together for so long, so it's going to be crazy, like, just not being able to cheer with them next year. But Something I think I'm going to take away from it is, like, knowing how to persevere. Cheerleading is really mentally tough, just as it is physically, so there's a lot of, like, intimidation with other teams and a lot of physical difficulties to flip yourself over and do crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So definitely, like, learning how to persevere in tough times and not giving up is something that I'll take away from cheerleading. Yeah, like what they both said, I'm definitely going to take away the relationships because like, unlike other teams, we've been sharing together since we were pretty much in first grade, all of us together. And to like leave this year is definitely going to be really sad, but you know, it's our time to move on. Yeah. From Burlington High School, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.